Yes, it was hesitant. Let's have a look at our scores. Jody's on 21. Matthew's got a strong lead at the moment on 40 points. Jody, um, you were telling us last night actually that you coach a bit of uh, cricket. Are you, you coaching some teams at the moment? I coach two teams. Uh, one local under 12 boys side and a regional representative primary girls side at the moment. Fantastic. Well, I hope they go well uh, in this season. <laughs> and I hope we go well in our next letters game. In fact, it's the final letters game for the night. So, uh, Jody, would you choose some letters for us, please? Uh, sure. Can I have a consonant to start? Thanks, Jody. Let's start with C. And another consonant. S. And another consonant. R. And a vowel, please. I. And another vowel. U. And a consonant. T. Another vowel. I. Another vowel. A. And a consonant. And last letter, R. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds on the clock. How did you go that time? I've got a six. And what about you, Matthew? I also got a six, Richard. So, six each. Well, let's start with yours, Matthew. Citrus. And yours, Jody? Racist. Two good words there, David. Excellent play. Citrus, racist, um, rustic, cirrus. Um, lots of sixes in this mix. Did you come up with anything uh, bigger? I just added one more letter, and that was satiric which is uh, describing humour of uh, irony or sarcasm. And uh, interestingly, it comes from uh, originally Saturus, which is full, uh, where we get also saturate. And I can only imagine possibly that uh, this was humour that was usually overflowing with those sorts of barbs and references. Good stuff. Thank you very much, David. And six points each for Jody and Matthew. Well, two great solutions in our last numbers game, so this is the final chance to use the numbers to score points. And, uh, Matthew, what would you like to choose? I'll stick with what worked for me last time. Lily, too large and four small, please. Thanks, Matthew. Too large and four small. And let's see what we can get. Three, four, four, seven, and the too large, 125. And the target to reach is 534. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds to get there. How did you go with those final numbers? No, uh, 525. 525, okay. Well, that's just within the uh, the scoring range, uh, so that's a, a potential five points. Jody, what about you? 531. 531, a little bit closer still, only three off the target, so take us through your method, please. Uh, 100 plus the 25 is 125. 100 plus 25 is 125. Multiplied by the four gives you 500. By four is 500. Plus 7 times 4, plus 7 by 4 is 528, and plus the 3 gives you 528, and add the 3 is 531. Very nicely done, Jodie. How did you go, Lily? I have arrived at an answer. It was actually pretty difficult. Um, and the trick was, now, 4 by 125 is 500. You wanted to bump it, pump it up a little bit. Um, so 20... 128 by 4 gives you 512, so let's do that. 7 by 4 is 28. Um, 28 plus 100 gives you 128. And by 4, that gives you 512. And to get up to the 34, you're 22 away. So um, if you subtract 3 from 25, 
and you add that on your 534. A very elegant solution and uh, some very nice brain work there, Lou. Thank you very much indeed. But Jodie did well. Seven points in that round. That means that she's on 34, Matthew at the moment on 46. Well, it's always a tension-packed part of the night, the final game of the evening, the conundrum. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. unfortunately from Jody and Matthew but let's have a look at the conundrum solution <laughs> it was president <laughs> and with uh, Matthew's Obama connection we thought you might have got that one or at least it would have been an interesting little bit of coincidence First lady uh, if, you, I might have got. if you had indeed so that means that after the final round our winner tonight is Matthew uh, well played Jody there was a, it was a great game tonight and uh, what a start that was exciting wasn't it yeah I just couldn't come back from that, I'm afraid. And of course, a Macquarie Dictionary 5th edition to take home. Thank you very much. And Matthew, well played. I think you gave us one of the most exciting starts we've had in a, a, a very long time. In fact, you both did. But we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Looking forward to coming back, Richard. Excellent work. And David, I love those fables tonight. I love those fables too. And uh, one that I didn't touch on is sour grapes, uh, which is a common expression all about uh, feigning uh, displeasure if you can't attain something. And uh, that described the fox who aspired to these grapes, they were too high, so he presumed that they were sour. Well, no sour grapes from you. We'll no. see you tomorrow night. <laughs> All right. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow night, uh, Lily. You put some great equations together tonight. Thanks, it was a great night, and congratulations to Matthew, and we'll play Jody. It was good stuff. So, from the Letters and Numbers team, thank you for playing along this evening. So, uh, do join us again tomorrow night for a little more brain-building fun. Until then, good night.